big damage numbers. The long overdue video for Stories 2 has been our maximum hit in one shot build. The ability to hit the literal damage cap of the game with a single blow. Can it even be done? Yes. Is it even that hard? No, not really. So if you're looking to one shot your enemies, well, this is how we did it. From what I've seen, there are multiple ways to land these crazy hits. Some mad people even manage to do it with their own weapon, for example. But what is the most consistent, maybe easiest way, and even biggest numbers were there no cap? We think it's through kinship attacks. Kinship attacks have that awesome animation, and naturally they start with big damage numbers. But how do you get the biggest kinship hit possible. No gigante. While he only has a 1.6 multiplier on his, his raw attack more than makes up for it compared to those with better multipliers. Who is going to be our target for the kinship attack though? We need a monster that takes bonus damage in some form and also one that guarantees it to be a crit. Crits double the damage of an attack for one thing and bonus damage is only going to help us more. Well, we have two ideal targets for this video, but there may be others. Duran Boros and Ruby Basirios. Duram is a great tanky target to let you set up the one shot because he got bonus damage when you target his body and if you break his legs, which sounds horrible when I say that out loud, he will fall down. When a monster has fallen down, it takes a guaranteed crit. With the ruby though, which is another great target, you can target his belly. Once broken, you can still target the belly for 1.5 times damage, even better. Now we have our monster of choice and the two targets to choose between. What are we going to do to our Nergigante to make him as strong as possible? We're going to need these genes. Might gene in XL. This boosts non-element attacks, the damage type of Nergi, so ideal. Kinship skill plus gene in XL. This increases the power of the kinship skill, perfect for what we're doing, of course. Pump up gene in large, which will greatly increase the attack in exchange for slightly reduced defenses for a few turns. Perfect to pop just before you do that kinship. Heroics gene XL, which greatly boosts attack when you're at 50% HP or less. So if we get Nergi to half health or less, then use the kinship, that's another huge boost. These main genes fill out the main way we actually increase the damage for the kinship, but there's another way to also increase it further. This is through the salt in wound gene in XL. It increases the damage done to an enemy who's afflicted by an abnormal status at the time. How are we going to apply this status? With bleed in this case. So we went for the thousand blades gene in medium from Seragios. Finally, we make sure to get the Inflict Ailment gene in extra large, just to increase the chance that the bleed actually procs when we use it. Naturally, all of these genes can be channeled into themselves to increase their levels, from level 1 to 3, which would then show us 2 stars on the gene. The higher the level, the better. Now what about those other 2 slots? Just make sure these are non-element genes of whatever you'd like, and then position your genes to have 3 bingos on non-element. This will increase your non-element damage by 125%, which helps even more. More. Josh managed it like this, but I was dumb and used an existing no gigante that I had earlier, which kind of forced me to miss the third bingo, so I only had 120% rather than 125%. Okay, so you've got your juiced up no gigante ready to go, you've got your target of choice, but how do we set up the hit? But whatever you do, make sure that you use your level 20 prayer pot and pop a might charm. This will increase the damage by 15% for basically no effort. In the case of my version with the ram, I needed to target the legs until they were low enough to break with the bleed attack. Then I would focus other body parts until I was mounted and from there build up the kinship to level 3 while also working on getting my Nergi to 50% HP or less. And then we were waiting for the right moment. This is when Duram is enraged and he's using his technical attacks. The bleed itself is a technical attack so I would lose to his default state of power attacks. So during his enrage we wait until he eventually stops targeting us to do his tailspin attack. That would be the perfect moment to strike with the bleed. Make sure you've got pump up going during the enrage which will last a few turns and then while pump up is going strike with the bleed and break the legs to knock him down now duram is down and afflicted by the bleed you're pumped up heroics is active and you have a might charm active here we go Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine damage. Sadly, the number that shows in stories is capped at this nine 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 when the real number would be even higher. What would the damage actually be if we could see it? 
Well, to answer that, let's look at Josh's version. He's fighting a Ruby Berserios in the regular Elder's Lair and is attempting everything we just did, but targeting the belly for that bonus damage instead. Let me go for the numbers Josh explained to me while he lands his own max damage hit. Starting out, the attack alone would deal 494 damage with this specific Nergigante of Josh's. From his Kinship Skill Plus, that's going to be another 60 damage, so 554 damage. His Heroics multiplies that by 1.35 for 748 damage now. Salt in the Wound multiplies multiplies it by 1.2, so 897 damage. Pump up increases it by a further 1.7, so 1,526. The kinship motion value increases it by a further 1.6, putting it to 2,441. The ruby bass belly multiplies damage by 1.5, so that puts us at 3,661 damage. Nergi's bingo bonus of 1.25 increases the damage more, so that's 4,000. 577. The bleed doubles the damage done, shooting us up to 9,154 damage. And finally, it is a crit, so another doubling of damage to put us at an insane 18,000 308 damage in just one hit. Now, if Josh had actually remembered to Might Charm when he did this, that had increased us by a further 15%, which is a whopping 21,054 damage. Absolutely huge damage can be done in just one hit in the current version of Stories 2, and this is just one way we did it. My no Gigante was level 75 for my attempt, but Josh's was at 65, so imagine a level 99 one. But there you have it, 9,999 damage and above in a single hit, and how you can do it too. I hope this was interesting for you guys. We definitely spent a long time gathering these genes, let me tell you. In any case, I'm feeling ready now for that hard mode Culve update. I'm looking forward to it. Until next time though, I've been Hollow, you've been you, and thanks for watching. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice, to reiterate that it is nice, to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is, uh, goodbye.